Hey everybody, um, for this video I'm going to talk about the biasing uh, transistor as the, the simple uh, circuit for a biasing transistor what you can see is that you're going to have a um, transistor this one I used Q2N 2222 and I also have a uh, Collector resistance R2, uh, base resistance R1, uh, emitter resistance R3, and I also have uh, the supply voltage. I use this one as 15 volt. So let's take a look quick before we move to uh, uh, using our LT spice 4 to uh, analyze the circuit uh, by adding transistor. Okay, uh, we have uh, three basic equation for transistor, and uh, for the equation one, I apply uh, KVL. Um, I take a look at uh, this loop. Okay, from the top pass to. Uh, Best resistor and also uh, uh, emitter resistor. So when you apply KVL, you know that this is your VCC, right? the supply voltage, and that's going to uh, equal R1 IB right? or IBRB, and then you have the voltage difference between the base and the emitter. So I have this one as VBE, and then uh, you also plus uh, IE, emitter current, multiplied by uh, RE. And you also know the relation IE equal to IB plus IC, and also IC equal to uh, beta 0 IB. Okay, what we're going to do next is that we're going to uh, look for IC. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write um, IC in the term of VCC, RB, VBE, and RE only. So uh, you have to write um, IE and IB in the term of IC. It's just the simple math. So uh, you take a look at this quick. You have IC in the term of VCC, RB, VBE, and RE. From equation 1, um, from 3, you know that our IB equal to our IC over beta 0. And then from 2, IE equal to IB, which is equal to IC over beta 0, and then plus IC. So you have IE equal to IC multiply by 1 plus 1 over beta 0 and then you uh, plug in IC uh, in equation 1 I'm oh, sorry you plug in uh, IB and IE in the term of IC in equation 1 so I end up with the IC you just need to uh, rearrange equation so it's not uh, that difficult so I end up with the uh, IC equal to uh, beta 0 multiplied by VCC minus VBE divided by RB plus the beta 0 plus 1 and multiplied by RE and then uh, if you want to see the variation of IC due to a variation of RB or RE or beta 0 or VCC uh, for example if you want to see uh, I see due to uh, the variation of uh, RE, you simply differentiate, you know, partial differentiate uh, IC uh, with respect to RE. So this is what we're looking for, IC. Okay, now let's move to uh, P spice. I'm sorry, LT spice four. This is I used the uh, P spice. So it's easy to see uh, the current and the voltage.
flowing through the circuit. Let's go to uh, at his space and then I put new schematics. So you start the uh, uh, drawing circuit. I need the ground. Left click and right click stop placing. Uh, I need 3R, right? So I need to rotate. So you move right here, right, rotate, and then you can. Oops, sorry, I don't need to rotate. So I can undo and then start pick up our resistor again. So I need three resistor, and then you also need the voltage source. So I go to our components here. I have voltage source here. So it's become a DC uh, voltage, and I also need the uh, transistor, which is to be your uh, NPN transistor. Okay, I hit OK, and then uh, you right click on the transistor to pick new uh, transistor. In this case, I'm going to use 2N3904. So I got my. Uh, NPN transistor. The next step is you need to uh, rearrange your circuit and make connections. Right? So I'm going to F7 move components. So I put the ground down here and then uh, let's put this guy up there. Oops, sorry. And also a collector resistance I put up here and this is my emitter resistance I put down here okay now we're ready to uh, make connections so you pick up wire so let's go to the very quick make connection you connect to uh, the source voltage you connect this one to the ground, we can move that later on, and then the um, oops, let pick up again. We make connection with the uh, emitter resistance, and then this is your collector resistance, and this is your base uh, resistance. Let's move the ground again so I uh, hit a uh, left click and then I do the rest of my connections right here okay now uh, we need to set up uh, the voltage I'm going to use 15 volts so you right click on the voltage source and you type in the number 15 and then uh, let's change the value of your R for this one I'm going to use the 910 for the base the resistance click OK and then uh, for the collector resistance I used the 3K and then uh, for the emitter resistance I use 560 okay just right click and type in the number the next step uh, to analyze the circuit I'll need to set up a uh, uh, level to be easier you know to see your uh, what the name of uh, the voltage um, for this one I'm going to use this as the let's change this one first for your resistance you can change this one the name just right click on the letter so I use this one as our B and then uh, right click on R2 I'm going to use that RC collector resistance and for uh, oops sorry 
emitter resistant ISRE. You also can uh, label uh, this one has to be uh, the base label net. Okay, so use this one as the base. Click OK to put this one on the line, and then uh, you put this one as the what collector right? C, and then uh, for this one is the emitter you right click on the line and the label net and this is your emitter you click OK oops uh, I just undo it ok let's do again label net and this one become emitter you hit OK alright to place emitter there next step is that you need to uh, go to set up window um, actually you want to uh, analyze the circuit you want to see uh, uh, current and the voltages uh, in the circuit so what you need to do is you go to or edit and then you go to or piece by directive um, actually we do this one later on you want to analyze the circuit you just go to or piece by analysis and then you go to DC up point operating point you click this one and you click OK you're going to have a window show up okay I did already so uh, what you need to see here the information the current and the voltages in the circuit is that you go to uh, view um, sorry um, Okay, you want to see the current and the voltages in the circuit. You simply uh, go to a menu or simulate and run. Uh, you're gonna have a window pop up, and this is your voltage and the current. Uh, you have IRE, IRC, IRB. Okay, you can analyze that by yourself. I'm not gonna explain uh, at this point. You also can uh, change the operating temperature by going to piece by directive. Okay, in case you want to see your um, operating temperature, a different one, you simply let's say at 70 degree, you just hit uh, dot temp temp and then that's mean uh, temperature and then 70 just hit OK and this one give you information that you're working on temperature at uh, 70 degree and then uh, you just do a simulation again this is your uh, voltage and the current at uh, 70 degree ok and you can also vary uh, your let's say RB um, for example, if you want RB to be your plus and minus 5% of 910 ohms, you simply uh, go to uh, Spice Directive and you type in uh, dot step para dot step of param that stand for parameter and then uh, you put um, RB this is that's what you want to vary 
and then you minus 5% of 910 that's equal to uh, 864.5 okay and then you also plus 5% that's give you uh, 955.5 okay and then uh, you just click OK and then you do the same thing you go to our uh, simulate run that's give you our uh, information about our I mean your RB vary um, from uh, uh, 910 minus 5% and 910 plus 5% okay you can also play around with the gain of your transistor okay you want to see uh, what uh, the current and the voltage will be if you use the uh, different gain you could do the same thing you go to piece by directive S and then what you need to type is that um, you put dot step that's mean that uh, you want to vary your gain and then uh, you also need to put uh, the device NPN and space you put the number of your transistor that's 3904 and then uh, you want to vary um, and you need to put also BF that's mean uh, you are interested in gain and then uh, you put list and then you put 100, 200, and 300. So you have uh, different gains. You hit OK, and you hit the simulate again. Run. So this is your new work. Voltages and your currents. OK, so uh, that's the is the biasing transistor using our LT Spice 4 to analyze our the circuit the very simple circuit okay bye